Hi friends, I welcome you all in this exciting training session being conducted by TNV Academy. Let me explain to you what we will be covering in today's session. The class 9 of ISO 9001-2015 titled Performance Evaluation signifies the check part of the Plan Do Check Act PDCA cycle. Here the organization is checking to see whether they have done the execution of activities as per plan or not. This main class has three subclasses namely 9.1 monitoring, measurement, analysis and evaluation, 9.2 internal audit and 9.3 management review. The checking involves monitoring, measurement and analysis, internal audits and management review. From the outcomes of the checking process, any deviations can be identified and course correction towards continual improvement can be done by the organization. In today's session, we will be covering the class 9.3 management review. And this comes under the main class 9, which is performance evaluation. Now, let us understand about the internal references taken by the class 9.3 of ISO 9001-2015. As far as this class is concerned, this takes reference from ISO 9000-2015 standard. ISO 9000-2015 standard spells out the terms and definitions used in this international standard so that no misinterpretation is done while implementing the requirements of ISO 9001-2015. Now let me tell you what are the key learnings takeaways from this session. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand what is management review and why it is important for the organization. What is top management's role in the management review? So let's begin our discussion regarding class 9.3 management review. This class has three sub sub classes. They are 9.3.1 general, 9.3.2 management review inputs and 9.3.3 management review outputs. Let us understand the requirements of class 9.3.1 general. ISO 9001-2015 states that Top management shall review the organization's quality management system at planned intervals to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy, effectiveness and alignment with the strategic direction of the organization. As you are aware, top management is playing a very vital role in the quality management system. It is the leadership's direct responsibility to ensure that the quality management system is achieving its intended results of satisfying customer and applicable requirements and achieving continual improvement. Hence, management has to review the performance of quality management system and based on the review, any course correction needed can be taken towards the strategic direction. The frequency of review is normally once in a year but can be done once in six months as well for improving the effectiveness of quality management system. The requirement of the standard is that the review should be done periodically. Now let us understand the requirements of 9.3.2 management review inputs. The management review meeting is a formal arrangement with the agenda for discussion and recording of the minutes of the proceedings of the meetings. This is normally convened by the management representative and chaired by the top management. The agenda points as inputs for the management review should be Minutes of previous management review meeting. Management system documentation including external and internal issues that are relevant to the quality management system. Customer satisfaction and feedback from interested parties. Status and progress and quality objectives. Key performance indicators. Process performance and conformity of products and services. Internal and external audit findings, non-conformity and corrective actions. Register of legal and other requirements and the compliance status. Monitoring and measuring results. The performance of external providers, suppliers, adequacy of resources, effectiveness of actions taken to address the risk and opportunities as derived from Clause 6.1 of the standard, as well as opportunities for improvement of the quality management system. The points are discussed and decision taken are recorded in the minutes of the meeting. Now let us discuss the Requirements of Clause 9.3.3 Management Review Outputs The ISO 9001-2015 states that the outputs of the management review shall include decisions and actions related to opportunities for improvement, 
any need for changes to the quality management system, resource needs. The organization shall retain documented information as evidence of the results of the management review. Action items should be developed from the findings of the management review as indicated in the minutes of the meeting, while results and action items from the management review should be documented, communicated to affected individuals and tracked to completion. So now we will learn about the mandatory documents that an organization has to maintain while meeting the requirements of class 9.3. There is mandatory documentary requirement for retaining the results of management review as evidence of having conducted the review. Management review meeting minutes, agenda, program and the presentation should be retained as documented information. Dear friends, we have now come to the conclusion of this training session. I hope that you all must have understood what the requirements are and concepts that fall under class 9.3 of ISO 9001-2015. See you soon with an exciting new topic. Till then, it's me signing off. Goodbye and thank you.